Alright, first off, I am not one of the common um, video makers like Bevo and whatnot. Uh, so please excuse me if I stumble over myself a little bit. Um, I just got back into Minecraft after a long break. Um, and just got into the AE2 systems. Now, to be able to craft the processors and crystals, I found out that most people are involving other mods to help in the automation. I didn't want that myself. I wanted a, well, a pure AE2 system for auto crafting those two types of items. Um, I was unable to find anybody that made an AE2 only system. So I did a little research, watched some videos on other people's builds, and I came up with this. Not the prettiest looking thing, but it can all be uh, covered up with using the facades. So you'll need the five inscribers, uh, import buses, uh, three storage buses, six interfaces. Now this build you need to make um, subsystems to be able to get it all to work properly. Um, so what you do is you know you set up your five and I turn them with a wrench so you can see they're kind of on their side but this is the way it works for me. Uh, the last one is just left alone its original orientation. In the storage buses the top will be printed circuit boards that you come up with. The back is your redstone and the bottom is the silicone. In these two interfaces you'll have the patterns for the three processors. and on the back of the other four inscribers you're going to have a simplified pattern for the printed parts of the circuits. So you set up the four inscribers link them all together, put your imports up on top, and you need those on bottom to provide the power. Then this last one is on its own little subsystem. So you join it up and use a quartz fiber to pass along the power only to this new little sub network. Um, it won't work otherwise. So just you only want to pass on the power. And of course, that ME interface, it takes the pattern from here, passes it onto this into the request system for this here. Now, it does work. Here, I'll just go ahead and tell it to make 10 of them except for the fact that I don't have that I don't have um, crafting CPU forgot to put a crafting CPU Alright, ran into a little glitch. I forgot I had gotten rid of the uh, 
the pure service quartz and here goes just to show you there's no CPUs in here tell to go ahead and make 10 of them there's all your material requests quartz in there silicone in there and dumps them into this and there you go it is auto crafting the processors nothing but AE2 parts and here they come alright now that covers the processors then this was a bit of a pain to figure out. Um, again, uh, it requires subsystems and the quartz fibers to pass along the power from the main system, which is the red. The first subsystem here is the blue. Then you need to pass the power from first subsystem into the second subsystem with another quartz fiber. Uh, set up the ME interface with these items so that once they are made they will pass back into the main systems inventory. Uh, just stuck that in there to make it a little bit quicker. I made this one as an open system so you can see you'll need two of the formation planes and one annihilation plane. So what I did is made it so that the original push goes through these two interfaces where I've made the patterns for the Fluix and the Pures. That passes it through this into this formation plane here. Now the open system that I made it takes six of these um, growth accelerators to make sure that the Fluix crystals will form before they get to that end annihilation plane. Um, because all I can see is it turning into an endless loop if it doesn't happen before then. Um, now the pure crystals, uh, you make a system so that it, you know, you can make the seeds. It'll drop the seeds in here originally from this formation plane. Now it takes a while for them to grow, so it's going to come down here go into this annihilation plane into this storage and with this formation plane up here use a fuzzy card the seeds any materials that you want to put in there just to be sure um, so as the seeds grow they come down get sucked back into the system get dropped back down in in a loop until they are fully grown in which they will get shoved out here once they are fully grown and go into your main system so tell you want some of these and of course I don't have enough CPUs or crafting processors on here. Oh, got to turn the magnet mode off. So, yeah, I just screwed that up. Uh, let's do it again. After I tell the crafting CPU to forget that I 
just made this mistake. Start it up. And there they go again. And again. And it'll just continuously loop them around until they are finished. So, hope these help people out. And, uh, yeah, just have fun with it. You don't need to rely on any other mods to get your automation going.